Hi kids, how are you? Welcome to this week's lesson. I hope you all enjoyed it last week's lesson and you're ready for this one. So this week's lesson is going to be coming from the book of Philemon, the whole book. And I know, right, you're like, the whole book? Okay, don't worry, it's only one chapter. The whole book is only based on one chapter. And we're going to be reading from verse 1 to 25. But before we get into that, let's all stand up. Make sure you're in a free space so that we can dance to this cool song. Okay, so the story is about a man named Philemon and he had his slave and the slave's name was Onesimus. So like all slaves, Onesimus didn't have a choice. He had to stay with Philemon and work for him and do whatever he wanted, like whatever Philemon told him to do. So one day he got, I don't know, he got tired of being Philemon's slave and he decided to run away. So that's exactly what he did. He just woke up one day and ran away. I know what you're thinking, right? That is so not good. And I'm sure Philemon was really hurt by this action. So days passed by and Onismas thought really hard about what he had done. And he realized that it wasn't good for him. It wasn't good for Philemon. It wasn't good for anyone. And he needed to go back to his boss and to apologize. But apologizing is not something that's easy for many people. So what he did is he, he sought advice from Apostle Paul. 
I hope you guys still remember Apostle Paul from last week's lesson. As we mentioned, Paul was an apostle. That means he moved from place to place, preaching God's word and sharing his love to the people. So this is the same person who Onesimus went to to seek advice. Now Paul was in prison. So Onesimus had to go to where Paul was in jail and talk to him. Paul understood every single thing that Onesimus had to explain and he really felt bad for him. He also understood that he really needed to go back to his owner, his master who was Philemon. So this is what Paul did. Paul wrote a letter to Philemon explaining everything and asking him to forgive Onesimus knowing very well that Philemon was a Christian and as a Christian you have to forgive people it's what a Christian does you have to find it deep down in your heart to just say it's okay this story also reminds us about that one son who ran away from home who asked for for wealth from his father decided to go away and spend it and then realized that what he had done was really wrong and he had to go back and he had to apologize it's it's really one and the same story almost like that okay so um, back to our story that is what paul did he wrote a letter and sent it with onismas to his master was philemon and when philemon read the letter he could really feel that he had to do this he had to forgive onismas for his mistakes because we all make mistakes and we all deserve to be forgiven so this is my message to you kids if you um if you know that someone did wrong to you it's okay you just have to forgive them pray for them as well and forgive them don't forget to smile and all that that's what being a christian is all about it's all about love forgiveness and all other kind of kind things that you can do and that you can offer Okay, so in the letter, Paul had mentioned to Philemon that he had to forgive Onesimus and he also had to stop looking at him as a slave, but as one of his brothers. Remember that in Christ we are all one family, we are all brothers and sisters, um, and we are all sons and daughters of God. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and you really learned something. You learned that we are to love one another and forgiveness is one of the keys of being a Christian. Okay kids, so that was the lesson about forgiveness from the story of Philemon, Paul and Onesimus, the runaway slave. So now it's time for our memory verse. And I hope you guys still remember because this week's memory verse is the same as last week's memory verse. And once again, it's coming from the book of Psalm 35 verse 5. And it says, commit your way to the Lord and trust in him. The verse once again is, commit your ways to the Lord and trust in him. All right, so... This is where we say our goodbyes. I hope you enjoyed the song. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope you memorized the memory verse. Okay, so now it's time for us to pray. Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity for us to learn about forgiveness, to learn about love, to learn all about you, Lord. Thank you so much. May you please help us to be better people ones that you're pleased with. In your mighty name, we pray. Amen. All right, kids. See you when you see me. Bye.